This is London with Bitcoin Spike. Let's go over some details for Bitcoin. Please smash the like button. We have some interesting information. And guys, smash it if you've been trading. Guys, that's why we're here to trade. This is London with Bitcoin Spike, former hedge fund owner, private non-SEC, and not financial advice. We have a diamond in the sky, period. Boom. This type of a formation is called a diamond. We'd be looking for a reversal, the diamond reversal. We have a bit of a catch. I want to talk about one thing very important that we're going to go over VI P returns in terms of the daily chart. What do we have that's kind of battling this right now? We'll go through the other charts, guys, the other formations, but the rising wedge feature, indeed, the rising wedge feature is a little bit rough, guys. About a 60-40 chance of breaking to the downside in a bear market, okay? In a bear market, just understand the statistics here, probabilities. In a bear market, 60-40 to break boom to the downside. We're watching this, okay? Because in the context of the diamond pattern, we've got over a 60-40 probability of going to the upside here. Boom. So, guys, this is what's called a lack of confirmation. When you have all things, all the stars aligned, we celebrate that, guys. Those are the good, good trades. This is Bitcoin. She likes to be tricky. She likes to challenge the traders. In the back today, let's take a look at the returns. First of all, Venus, shout out. Look at lovely Venus and her husband. Boom. Beautiful picture. Looks like you're at a vineyard. Very nice picture. Say hello to the husband. In terms of 107% today, bam, 106% today, two separate trades. Both shorts. Congratulations. Way to short. Good job, Venus. 18.6K. Another trade. Congratulations, guys. VIP trading. 128%, 101%, and a 73% for Arturo. New VIP. Part of 100 rounds. Remember, do not emulate, guys. We want to show you those so you can learn what this market is capable of. Now, we're going to go through some details. I'm also going to discuss something very important right now, something very important that you need to wrap your mind around in terms of a potential shift that we're seeing in the charts, guys, a potential shift in the chart. Now, in terms of a potential move to the upside, I want to talk about one feature on the four hourly that we have a near, a near, guys, I'm going to say not, not exactly, but a near flat bottom on this four hourly chart. Very important to note whenever you see them, a flat bottom support, hugely, hugely important. It's indicative of the presence of sellers in the market. Yes, we've established, guys, if I take off this it's called the madrid just so that you guys know if you'd like to put that on your charts told vip if you weren't in the back vip the madrid ribbon madrid uh, ema ribbon i think you guys will like that to be able to visualize your pricing look at the red yeah look at the green up and over is green guys when you're heading up the red would be down look up the madrid the Madrid EMA ribbon. That's for VIP. Hope you guys are doing well this weekend. Another good weekend. So the flat bottom support, anytime we see that, especially on the four hourly, it causes concern. In some regards, I just want to tell you guys, there's going to be a cut loose here. Something's going to happen because, and I did let the VIP know, I let you guys know that we were constricted on the Bollinger Bands right in this area. Bitcoin's about to move boom to the downside we actually caught guys i caught the uh on support it was a nice pick up this specific zone let's take a look at this specific pickup at this zone where was this in i'd like to say where are we guys this area here were we i think this area here the level of support pickup yeah took over that rising wedge that was a nice trade in the back so what i'm going to say importantly is that this 200 uh, moving average what are we going to say about the 200 is that it is yes it has been a great trade level a trade zone however it is serving as a bit of a nemesis right now i'm just going to say what needs to occur is we need to get up and off of guys we need to get over uh, over this hurdle this confirmation process it would be beautiful to do it with a diamond bone the reversal would be fantastic i just say the longer that we spend in this zone though and it continues to magnetize if we were to drop out of this specific pattern i'm going to remind you of one thing a on any diamond breakdown we would expect a throw back so don't necessarily just short right out of the gate on a break out to the upside we would also expect a throw Row back to the prior level of resistance. So in terms of the overall function we've been looking at the last few days, let's remind ourselves of the bump and run variation. Really my favorite 
favorite pattern to trade, guys. Really my favorite pattern to trade. And I did let you know uh, yesterday, you remember this, and I appreciate you guys having a little patience with, uh, with the video today. I'll try and get this in one take, but always on any kind of a bump and run. Uh, guys, any type of a, we call them bells. Be prepared for this lower level. This lower level, just make sure that you have the resources available to cover your upside position if you're going long. Definitely, definitely able to cover your upside position at a lower entry. Guys, it's, uh, that's just uh, common sense in terms of that. Remember, never overexposed at a higher price. And each trade should be 1 100th of a comfortably expendable amount of cash. Now, in terms of the shift that we're seeing, I'm going to expect this to break out to the upside, period. I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to expect this to break out to the upside, period. Yes, we have contraindications. Now, whether or not she would like to, guys, drop down to support again and then break out, I'll let you know that is a possibility. I'm willing and ready and able to trade from this level. I like the diamond feature there at the 200 uh, weekly average, moving average. I do have this up here. It's more of an actual diamond uh, feature. We'll take that off. Now, the one thing I want to talk about, guys, in terms of some real uh, some real TA here, we're going to talk about that shift that I've seen, and I appreciate you guys having a little bit of patience. Let me get through this. Not scripted tonight. I just want to go through uh, the important facets. The What is this, guys? The Daily MACD. Pardon, the daily MACD is going to be, for me, the one thing that needs to shift. Guys, look at the MACD just ready to pour on down into negative territory. I'm going to tell you, we can put up with this. How many days has it been off, uh, guys, off uh, kilter here? Look at this. It's been, uh, we're looking at a week of rounded out, lethargic dropping MACD. One week, guys. So we can continue to uh, push to the upside, but at some point, the other time frames, guys, can continue to battle the daily, but at some point, the daily is gonna be the boss. I'm gonna tell you, so we need to see a shift in the daily MACD, or we're gonna have a problem with sustained higher prices on Bitcoin. Copy that. Please make that register. We're seven days into uh, a problem with the MACD on the daily. So the other aspects I want to talk about in terms of a shift, what we're seeing is a potential as we look at a bell feature uh, break out to the upside here. I think that's on the one minute. You guys can see this real quickly just so you see how one of these will work, right? We had that expansion, the bump and run essentially uh, variation there. A breakout to the upside, we would expect a throwback to prior resistance the majority of the time. Okay, the majority of the time we're going to get some sort of a throwback to prior resistance, but that's just how those patterns work. Now, the shift that I've been discussing, this is a dangerous shift. And to the extent that we would talk about any type of a, a potential manipulation, I want you to understand potential manipulation or potential, uh, what will we say, just... Uh, as suspect technicals. I'm going to call this a very suspicious technical fact on Bitcoin. And before I do that, well, I'll do it after, guys. But a suspicious fact on Bitcoin is if we could not get, particularly if we could not get repeatedly, and I'm on record as this, guys. I've done the data research on this. We have done this in VIP. Shout out to Luke. He's done a lot of this as we see a, a potential failure, but at least a throwback return to line. And be prepared for a failure 18% of the time. Your bump and run, your expansion here, your bell is going to fail 18% of the time. So these breakouts can be a little dangerous. In terms of the specifics that I want to discuss now, we're going to go over a flat top resistance of a preceding ascending triangle. You see the ascending triangle here in red. I have it marked in red to draw attention to it. Guys, I will tell you the majority of the time, the vast, 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 I can say vast again, majority of the time, there are not only orders at a preceding flat top level of resistance, but the market wants to test this as a foundation or a base for future price action. I'm just telling you, with Bitcoin, we've done the analytics. It is a it is a return to function that we see 80 to 90 percent of the time, and that's being easy. That's easy going, saying 80 to 90 percent of the time. We see a return to this level. Now, we do see some push up and above. We see it difficult for those who have entered shorts without a doubt, but we don't even have a confirmation 
on this top level of resistance of this ascending triangulation. Guys, we don't even have a confirmation there. So to the extent that we will um, uh, see any type of a continual shift in technicals in line with just uh, obviating the norms of TA, I'm, I'm bringing this to your attention now, guys. I'm bringing it to your attention. The preceding flat top resistance i can almost understand but when i'm starting to explain things like this too much guys understand when i see an ascending triangulation and guys on different time frames this micro ascending triangulation here that's what i'm talking about a little bit of manipulation a little bit of suspect technicals glad you guys are paying attention this is important guys this is london with bitcoin spike it's for vip Anytime we see a flat top resistance ascending line of support, we'd like to see this level at least confirmed on. If not, if not retested, bam, with a solid hit. Uh, guys, we will target this generally, and I'll tell you generally, okay, generally we're looking at an 80 to 90 plus percent return to function that has been not just a new idea, that is literal bedrock Bitcoin trading bottom line and it's not uh, just specific to bitcoin it's not specific to uh to bitcoin spike to our trade channel it's my idea or something else no guys take a look at uh, i'm not sure why matic came up that's cool uh, matic came up uh we're not interested in matic but anyway that's cool uh, in terms of this guys if you are go for it guys but in terms of this i was looking at ndx the n was next to the m so this is the point with the flat top resistance ascending in line of support this is the nasdaq guys this is the nasdaq the tech sector of the united states of stock exchange guys the u.s uh, based stock exchange okay the nasdaq it is the u.s based technical uh technically oriented uh, stock exchange so what I'm going to say is we see this componentry play out on the NASDAQ, not just once, continually, repeatedly on the NASDAQ. Look at that uh, micro feature. I called this for VIP this last week. Look at this feature, flat top resistance, ascending line of support. To tell you the honest truth here, this was a nice confirmation, bam, here, into preceding level of resistance, ascending line of support on the NASDAQ. It's automatic, bam on the micro here on, on this macro feature on the micro as well bam now this is not the only uh most recent uh reconfirmation if i go back in through the history of of the nasdaq you're going to see this again and again and again so what i'm going to say is to the extent that bitcoin wants to play coy that bitcoin wants to uh wants to eliminate the rules guys we're watching very very particularly on this because there is a it, it's not a sideshow uh the technicals aren't a sideshow for bitcoin it is uh it is the reason that we trade bitcoin is a the liquidity and b the technical conformance it uh there's no excuse for it to obviate the rules that would apply to the overall broader indices etc guys that is um consistent with what we've seen in terms of the technical expression previously um i'll let you know when you're looking at a target, the one thing that you can always say, and we always say this, it, 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 it eliminates a lot of uh, the problems with the fact of, well, I have a target, we're not getting to the target. What do you need? Well, you need a target, first of all, and then you need a pattern to get you to your target. That is exactly the way we approach it with VIP. That's exactly the way I want you to always approach all of your targets is that, yes, you need a target, but you also need a pattern. Okay, we were talking about the diamond earlier, right? Could uh, traject us to the upside. The bell, right, is something that could go, uh, we're looking to, for it to go bullish. So what I'm going to say is, as much as you'd like to say, we'll point and shoot, right? We want to point and shoot. That's what we're in the business of. Point, direction, let's go, bam. No, you get your target. And then we need always, let's focus on this. We always need, as automatic as this principle is, guys, and it's very automatic, look at the NASDAQ charts. Go through it, guys. Go through the NASDAQ. Uh, go through the other indices if you if you choose but as much as it's an automatic in the broader indices is as much as it's an automatic pardon with with bitcoin let's stick with the rule uh, tried and tested that if you have a target what do we need well we need a pattern to get us to our target so that will eliminate or th that will leave open the possibility of your leaving behind any 
target. It will also, I'd say, uh, it will make flush the uh, the the opportunity or just uh, very solid. I'll say that. When I say flush, I mean like a, a full house, something like that. Just absolutely, um, it will complete uh, the entirety of your trade process. If you'll say, well, I have a, even if your target is up or your target is down, well, I want to go up. Great. Well, I want to go down. Great. You know, you have a target here or you have a target to the upside or you have a target here with this ascending triangulation or a target here with the ascending triangulation or one of our wedge tactics, always having the pattern to get you to your target. That's the most important thing that you can wrap your mind around. Even if your target is up or your target is down, I want to go down. All right, I'm in a short. Great. Then you need a pattern to get you to your target, right? If you're going up, well, I'm in a long. Well, you need a pattern to get you to your target. So that's the way we're going to resolve this for now amidst any type of suspicious I'm going to say suspicious technicals that we see ongoing with Bitcoin right now. Bottom line, we like the, uh, just uh, bring it on home, guys. We like the diamond pattern. We like the VIP number one trade group. And I appreciate you guys having some patience. Uh, it just is one of those days. I got to get through the information. It's been a long day. Uh, I got up at 4 a.m. to go hit the iron, guys. That's just me. I'm, I won't apologize. That's just me. Excited about 2022. We are building. If you want to join the number one trade group, guys, London, former hedge fund owner, private non-SEC, and this is not financial advice, but join our trade group. It's the number one group. Guys, we're trading every day. We're having a blast. I'll put you on 100 rounds. We'll get you involved in a hedge. Uh, and I'll say this link will get you there. You can hit that link, join the VIP level, and then go ahead and put I am VIP. And we're happy with our group this year. Happy it's growing as well. Hit that first pin tweet that'll put you in touch with me. I will put you in the back of the winner's circle. Guys, tons of charts, tons of interaction, tons of cash trucks ready to deploy and on standby. As we like to say, this is London, meaning heavy cash reserves. You know, we always say buy it, support, sell it, resistance, trade your patterns and hit your targets. So the, the order is like that for a reason, right? It's buy it, support, sell at resistance trade your patterns uh, trade your patterns and hit your targets so always put that pattern ahead of your target and make sure that they follow in that order this is london with bitcoin spike i want you guys to set up some alerts we're going to be in the back trading i'm excited about the diamond pattern i'm excited about the specific uh, this specific feature here as well this bump and run variable guys variation here let's go to tell you the truth, guys, if we lose the 200 weekly moving average, I'm just going to tell you, it's going to be a little complicated because we do have uh, we do have this rising wedge feature, right? We've got about a 60-40 uh, split here. And again, we're just in contention. Bulls and bears are in a little bit of contention with uh, Bitcoin. All right. In terms of this, I just tell you, if we lose that average, do expect a throwback to potentially a higher level. That'll be the one interesting component. Given this rising wedge feature, right? We have two contacts here along resistance sellers. We have two contacts, three contacts along support here. OK, so on the daily chart, expect if we were to break down and lose this 200 weekly moving average that we would flip up and around. OK, we could traject down for a bit, but that would be within the probabilities for us to retest prior prior support as resistance. So let's pay attention. And guys, uh, let's let's have a good rest of the weekend. We'll be trading. We want some more volatility. Let's go, Bitcoin. Get up and go. We want to trade. This is London, guys, with Bitcoin Spike. Appreciate all your time. We'll talk to you soon. Shout out to all the VIP. Bye-bye.